Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Shein try and haul, not sponsored by the way. I have a few clothing pieces to show you guys, as well as some purses and some shoes. So let's get right into the video. So it's this really bright colored orange top. So I actually got this in a size medium and I was thinking maybe I should have gotten a large, but then I feel like it would have been too big here and falling down. Um, a small definitely would have been too small because it's a little bit snug right here, but not too bad. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It is long sleeve. It has a really great stretch to it. It has a little bit of a ribbed pattern going on. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I will zoom in for you guys. Um, it is one-sided, so it's like an asymmetrical look going on. So it is cropped. Just so you guys know, it reaches just maybe about two inches below my bra. So if you wanted to go braless, um, you probably could. But if you have really big boobs, then it's probably not a good idea because it is pretty short. Which I think is really, really popular right now. Uh, excuse the missing nail, just in case you guys have been noticing. One of my nails popped off the other day. So that's what that looks like. The next thing I'm going to show you guys are the pants that I'm wearing with this top. Um, these dress pants are so, so comfy. Um, they fit really, really well. It actually does come with a belt. I felt like the belt was a little bit on the cheap side, so that's why I didn't put it on, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. I can get myself a better looking belt from, you know, Shein or wherever, but this is what the belt looks like. It does have loops. There is loops in the pants, but I just want to show you guys quickly what it looks like. It actually is kind of small, so it doesn't even fit me, um, but that is the belt. Um, but again, you don't have to wear a belt. You can if you want to. It does have loops. It does have real pockets. This is what it looks like from the back. So next thing I want to show you guys is this top. I know it doesn't look so good right now, but it's just a plain sheer orange top. And again, I was telling you guys I want to add some color to my wardrobe, so I got this top. I felt like this, was a, this would be a really nice top to color block with, so I paired it with these blue shorts. Of course, I probably wouldn't wear it like this. Um, I more so would wear it tied up, so something like this. And then these tucked in so that's it tied up I've definitely seen people like wrap it around their bra and then tie it you can do it so many different ways so the good thing about this top is that it's super super lightweight so it's gonna be perfect for the summertime you can definitely wear it over a swimsuit if you wanted to um, as like a little cover-up it does have pockets in the front and they are real I'm gonna come in a little bit closer so you guys can see um, it's like a chiffon material and a little bit of a ribbon going on as well so that's what that looks like so now onto the shorts. I'm kind of tippy-toeing so you guys can see it. So these are the shorts. They do have real pockets and they fit really well. I feel like I probably could have gone down a size, um, which I may do. I don't know, but I feel like I could definitely go down a size. Um, so this is what they look like from the side and the back. These are really nice shorts and you can definitely dress these up if you wanted to or dress them down. I love the fact that it has the real pockets and it has... Um, some nice pleating going on in the front as well as the back. Alright, so the next item are these shorts and they fit really, really well. So, they actually, you actually tie them up at the front and they have real pockets as you can see. They fit really, really well. Definitely my perfect size. It has a nice little pleating in the front, if you guys can see that. Nice pleats in the front. You can definitely dress this up and you can definitely dress it down. I just paired it with this orange shirt. I'm not sure what color green this would be, but it's like a nice muted green color. So that's what they look like. Very cute. All right, you guys, so the next outfit is this orange set. It is a matching top and bottom. So I just paired it with a black bralette underneath. Um, you can definitely do something white. I think that's what the model was wearing on Shein. And then I had like this green quilted purse from Shein as well. It does have a longer strap, which I don't really care for. Um, it's a long chain strap, so I just have it tucked in. And then I'm wearing these matching sandals with the gold chain on them. So for the matching set, I think I got it in a medium. It is a little bit longer than your average short sleeve shirt. Um, it is a button up and I believe it comes in other colors. I decided to go in orange just because I like how orange looks on darker skin. It comes with high-waisted shorts um, with an elastic waistband which is great. Um, it's super lightweight so it's perfect for the summertime. 
Again, you can definitely tie it up if you want to. I see a lot of people doing this where they tie it up. Or you can have it wide open, showing off you know, your chest if you want to. So this bag from Shein is probably one of the best bags that I've purchased. Most of the time I get something from Shein, the quality of the purses are terrible and I usually have to send it back. But this one, I'm actually surprised about. I personally probably would carry it as a clutch versus a crossover, just because I'm not a fan of the chunky gold yellow chain that it comes with so for me this is perfect just like this and i would just wear it like this so moving on to the next purse i have this one right here it is like a faux wool purse with faux leather so this for me i don't know how i feel about this i think the quality isn't that great especially the wool part um, i don't think i would keep this but it is cute, and I mean, if you're into taking photos, then this would definitely be great for photos because it is cute from far, but um, not that great up close. So it doesn't have any pockets or anything on the inside. It's just a simple zipper. Um, so that's what it looks like. So next purse is this one right here. Um, it is in a like a dark green color. Again, so no pockets on the inside or anything. The quality on this is not too bad. It just has like a snap close um, button, a little bit of ruching for the handle, a little bit of ruching on the actual bag, and that's what that looks like. Very simple. The quality, like I said, isn't too bad. And this comes in many, many, many different colors. And this, of course, you would just probably hold this in your head. I don't think. No, it's too small to go over your shoulder. It's definitely a hand bag. I always struggle with finding purses on Shein. This one is definitely on the cheaper end. All right, you guys, so the next outfit is this two-piece green set, and I've been seeing a lot of people wearing it, and I think I would get it in black. I don't think the green is my color. I don't know. This is a bit too much. I feel like I could wear this one time, and then that's it, but I feel like with black, I can definitely get away with it a lot more. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's an asymmetrical top, so it looks like that. So it does show a little bit of your side here. Um, it is in like a ribbed material. It's very, very lightweight, very comfortable. Um, and it comes with these really cute bell-bottom pants, which you guys will see. It fits me very, very well. It's definitely taking me back to like, what is it, the 60s? Like, you know, a very nice outfit. But again, I think I would get it in a black. Super, super comfy very well made all right you guys so the next thing is this green top which is a similar color to that those shorts that i showed you guys earlier um i don't know what color this is like a line maybe i'm not sure but this is the next top and it has shoulder paddings in it and a little bit of ruching in the front i don't know if this is the front or the back i honestly don't know but this is what it looks like uh, I just paired it with these black dress pants that I showed you guys earlier. I don't know how I feel about this color on me. Again, I was just trying to step out of my comfort zone and do something different. So this is the front. The front has a lot going on with the ruching, but the back is very simple. So this is what the back looks like, just like that. This also came in many different colors, so I can see myself getting something a little bit lighter or darker it's actually in a very soft material which you guys probably can't tell but it's like a very soft cotton material it feels really really good against your skin um, i love the shoulder padding in it it really draws attention to your shoulders and your arms um, it has a high neckline so next item is this like zebra print see-through cami I saw someone else wearing it in a haul and I said I have to get it. It looked really, really nice on her. So it's spaghetti straps and like a suede material going on. Um, it is a little bit sheer at the bottom, but right here in the boob area, it is double lined so you cannot see through it. So those of you who have smaller boobs, you can definitely get away with being braless, but me, I definitely cannot um, because there's absolutely no support, absolutely no support. So I'm wearing a black bra which goes really well with this because it is black as well. You kind of can't see my bra underneath. So that's what it looks like. And then I paired it with this really nice skirt from Shein. Um, it has a super high slit. I think I may actually go ahead and put a pin right here just because I'm not comfortable with people seeing my underwear. And if I were to sit down, it would be game over. So uh, putting a pin right here wouldn't be too bad and just close that up a little bit. If not, it's opens really really high so you guys can see it goes super high 
right to the underwear. I mean, if you want to, you can wear boy shorts underneath, make sure it's black or black underwear if you're feeling risky. That is completely up to you. I love the fact that it has this nice ruching, so if you're a little bit bloated, it's gonna hide it. So that's what it looks like in the back. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like fully so you guys can get a good idea of what's going on. Here is a close-up of the top. I'm gonna take it out because right now I have it tucked in. It's a bit of a cropped cami. And if I take it out, this is what it looks like. So you guys can see it has like this nice, I don't know if it's zebra or like tiger stripes. I'm not even sure, but that's what it looks like. And you can see up here is double line, so you cannot see my bra. Or if you were braless, you would be okay. Um, it has very tiny spaghetti straps. This is actually in the medium. I actually did get it in a large at first. And I ended up returning it just because the large was just way too big. Way too big in the bust area. Way too big in the strap area. And it's not adjustable, by the way. So I didn't want to have to make a little knot or have to get it fixed. So I decided to go down the size and the size fits way better. So for me... I kind of want to make it look like a one-piece outfit, so I went ahead and I tucked it into the skirt, just like that, and yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then I paired it with some really cute heels. Um, I decided to get these heels not so much to go with this outfit, but because I'm going to a wedding soon and I needed some gold heels. So you guys can see this, the heels are very strappy. I probably didn't do a good, I didn't do a good job with tying it up. Just because it's just a whole lot to tie up but it's quite comfortable I think the heel is about four inches I can't walk in anything higher than that um, I always struggle with finding shoes because I have wide feet and I have big feet I'm normally like a nine nine and a half but she and I always get a size 10 and it fits me every single time I love these these are very strappy you guys can see that the heel is quite thick so it makes it a little bit easier to walk in um, I love the straps on it. I love the style of these heels. They're like a gladiator sandal type. So it's quite nice. So you guys can see the skirt as well. It's pretty long. It reaches about calf length in the front, in the back. And then of course it has this huge high slit in the front, which is a bit too much. So one thing I forgot to mention is that this top actually has a little bit of like, like silicone. So that way it doesn't slide down on you. Um, so that's good. So if you are braless, it does have that silicone there. So it kind of makes it a little bit sticky. This denim jacket that I'm wearing that I really, really love. It's a little bit on the baggy side. I decided to stick with my size because I don't like anything too, too big on me because it makes my head look really tiny. I already have a small head and I don't want it looking even smaller. So this one has a little bit of distress. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll come in closer so you guys can see. A little bit of distress on the wrist. You can definitely dress this jacket up and you can definitely dress it down which is what I'm doing. Um, it's a very casual look that I have on. Just a tank top and some high-waisted leggings um, and then I would probably wear some white sneakers. So this jacket is nice and long so you guys can see it reaches way past my butt. It does have real pockets as well. And it also kind of has pockets on the inside here, which is different. And I like that. I like that I have that extra pocket right here and on this side as well. Um, it has silver buttons and also real pockets here on the chest area. I feel like it's made very well. I've ordered jackets from Shein before and I had to return them because the quality just was not good. But this one is made very, very well. It feels, it's actually kind of soft as well. Um, it's not stiff at all. Um, it, it's not stretchy or anything, but it's not stiff, like hard material. It's definitely not like that. Um, I can definitely butter it up if I wanted to, which I probably wouldn't. All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this really nice blazer. So I've been on a hunt for a really nice blazer that wouldn't break the bank. So I decided to check out Shein to see what they had, and I've ordered quite a few, and this is the one that I ended up with. Um, I actually ordered it in a size large and I felt like that was a little bit too big on me So I went back and I got the medium. So this is the medium and I feel like it fits me really really well um, It can actually button up if I wanted it to um, The sleeves hit me at my wrist, which is great. It has pockets, but they're not real Unfortunately, and I love having pockets, but that's okay. It has black buttons with a little bit of like a brown marble going on so the back looks like this and it is a little bit long so it reaches a little bit past my butt all right you guys that is the last outfit hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and leave a comment down below on which outfit was your favorite